So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Angus crossed. See some ruins up ahead. Wait here, I'll go take a look. So, <clears throat> oh, Victor, you still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. <laughs> I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named <laughs> Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> huh. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Okay, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Easy. Ah, we're getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it, I got it. You do realize this means we have to cross that bridge again. Turn into it.
No, sorry. Experiencing a little turbulence. Not get stuck here. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. I'm gonna scout around. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road, it might rain, might be muddy. But with Nate being so eager, he doubled the price. He would have doubled it anyway. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? Hang on tight. Oh, gee. shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. That was a valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look, that's 
Christopher Condon's sigil is uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? Oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. Do it. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Damn. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a form of squid. But the point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time.
way. I got mud in my mouth. Oh shit, stop, stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Anything there? Ash, no, nothing. Take one. 
lost track of us. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Don't spin out now. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. Sully, you were saying? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So, now nah, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So, Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. This thing in the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam. If you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Um, hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> Get it? You know, because it's a well. Sully, you stole your joke.
Did you find something down there? Maybe. Do me a favor, get behind the wheel for a sec. Will do. <clears throat> Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Okay, give me a second. Okay, what do we have here? So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. All right. What are you talking about again? Um, no. Right. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. Well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Ah, hell. See that smoke? Oh, shoreline, slow down. Sorry, you were saying? Um, oh, right. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there.
Check it out, boys. What is it? You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. I mean, especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. Guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline, Mercs? I can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or <laughs> protect something inside. The stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Shoreline must have been here before. Find his keepers. Hey, be careful, kid.
Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special deliver! Whoa, 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 whoa! <sighs> 